Thanks for spending part of your Thursday with us on Mid Morning. Does the sound of people chewing loudly just drive you up a wall? Turns out it might be more than just a little bit of a pet peeve. Researchers has a name, have a name for this, of course. It's called misophonia, and the sound sensitivity could actually impact a person's ability to learn. So, uh, you know, we all know the people who kind of you hear the fingernails on a chalkboard mm. that that's literally something that drives them crazy. This is something that you don't like. I right? have a very physical response <laughs> if I hear something like that. Just and kinda... I, Mike was saying the the plates and the knife. Yeah. Oh, I can't hear that's that. That's a bad sound for me, the knife plate. Same. Yeah. yeah, not great. It surprises me that it took until 2003 or 2000, what was it? 13. 13 for people to look into this. Because yeah. I, I did some research. In, in 2014, there was a study done at the University of South Florida, and they found that 20% of people have some version of this. That's a lot of people. It can be very severe, mm -hmm. where it can almost be debilitating. Your heart goes yeah. crazy. You have kind of skin conductance. You have issues like that. For most of us, it's something where it's just it's a distraction. But there is a physical response, even in, in people who have a, a mild sensitivity. Well, and that's what the crazy part is. And it's also great for these people because for years they've been going to the doctor and saying, like, <laughs> hey, when people yeah. chew, it really drives me crazy to the point where I can't, you know, and they're like, okay. And they thought for a while that it was part of OCD, that it was something along those lines. But yeah, it's that physical response that actually can impact people's learning. So, like, if you're taking mm -hmm. a test and the person next to you is chewing gum and you have the sensitivity, you're actually more likely to do poorly on that test. I find that if I'm in a distractible mood already, there are things that will mm -hmm. trigger me, like sure. sirens really trigger me. I live downtown, and that mm. is a huge That's pain. unfortunate. <laughs> it yeah. is, yeah. Uh, I know, I've heard, I have a friend who doesn't like the sound of a spoon on someone's teeth or a Ooh. fork on oh. someone's mm -hmm. teeth, mm -hmm. which doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense to me personally. Oh. But I put this out on Twitter, and I asked if people had anything to add. Uh, Tony, um, super viewer Tony Bell, said that he hates that high-pitched whine that TVs that are on will make like if you have a TV on and it's muted this used oh. to happen most often with tube TVs sure. it's almost sub or super <laughs> audible like right, right. exactly yeah uh, a few other people said styrofoam which I kind oh. of yep that squeaky sure. styrofoam yeah. noise uh, and people who crack their knuckles toes and back constantly oh which is both of I know, I'm sorry. Yes, I do while yes. you read the news, too. I'm like, I'm Sometimes sorry. it's a little distracting. I'm, I'm <laughs> doing a story, and Kylie's over here like, uh -huh. <laughs> I know. I always eat, because you always look over at me, too. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I'll well, try and, try and be better. Right.